Your customers better you with messages, emails, chat ping, social media shouts, and even the odd facts or two. I mean, they don't, in that case. All demanding immediate attention. Your inbox is a battlefield, your keyboard is the weapon of choice, and every new notification is a call to arms. This isn't just a job, it's an epic saga where every solved ticket is a victory, every satisfied customer is a rescued puppy. That's why, to fight this pain, today I'll show you how to integrate intercom. Uh, sorry, can we do that again? Yeah, only, uh, only the last part, yeah. Right. And that's why, to fight this pain, today I'll show you how to integrate QuickChat AI with Intercom. After you connect our AI assistant to Intercom, you'll basically get an AI super-powered customer support rep capable of handling thousands of conversations at the same time. If you need robust customization options, such as customizing the style of responses to match your branding, Stay with me. Let's move on to the tutorial. So, for starters, we'll create a new teammate in Intercom and connect our AI assistant so it serves as that teammate and answer your customers' questions automatically through Intercom's messenger, your profit. Let's navigate right away to the settings and to the teammate section. And let's add a new teammate. It's best to create and use a dedicated email address that can be used by this AI assistant and I did it, so let's just put it here. Continue, enable the inbox seat and the permissions. I'll select all of them and just let's send an invite now. Invite and field seats. Okay, so now log out from the account that you're currently logged in in Intercom and accept the invite that was sent to the AI assistant email address and log in with that account. Click that lightning bolt sign on the left sidebar New workflow. You're going to create it from scratch when you want it to activate when the customer sends their first message. So click just that. And I want to modify triggers here, so just click save and close. And now we are in this workflow design page and let's add the first and only step, assign. And assign it to the teammate that we've set up for specifically for our AI assistant. Set it live, and we got it. Just save and close. All right, so let's go to Quick Chat interface now. I set up this AI assistant for Apple products, reseller, Mac shop, and it's the AI assistant that's going to provide information about Apple products and offer promotional discounts. And to keep a light tone of conversations and align with your Mac shop's laid back tone of voice, I added an AI guideline to make it use emojis in its responses, but in a refined manner, because, you know, too much is too much. I added information about Apple products to its knowledge base to train the AI assistant on, so it basically knows all the relevant information and uses it in conversations with website visitors. When it comes to the settings, I made a few changes, like changing the AI personality from the default classic to humorous to make the conversations more fun and engaging. The ultimate goal of these interactions is to boost sales on the website, so I'll go for the shopping assistant AI profession to make him proactively offer personalized product recommendations and send users to product detail pages. And so let's go to the integrations tab now. And we are here, so we're interested in intercom, so let's click just that. And in this window, enable the integration by clicking the switch and hit the authenticate button. Continue by authorizing the access. And it's done. So to confirm that, let's check out in the integrations tab. And as you can see the notification, this AI assistant is successfully connected to your interim ac account. So we're good. Now I'll deploy intercom widget to my website and test whether quick chat AI assistant responds. So in this example, I'll do it in WordPress. Now I'm in WordPress. I downloaded the intercom plugin to streamline the process of integrating it into my website. If you don't have it, just look for intercom um, in plugin sections and add to WordPress. I'll hover over the settings and go straight to the intercom section. There's only one big button that you know what you have to do with. Let's confirm that. Authorize. Intercom has been installed, so time for a test ride. Intercom's widget is now in the bottom right corner of my website, so let's send a message. Polite greeting first, of course. 
oh, so we got the answer and it references Apple products right away. So we know our, it's our Silicon friend. So let's ask him a proper question now, like which Mac would you recommend for a video editor? Nice, so we got a personalized recommendations for a video editor. It highlights fast performance, graphic capabilities, and a high quality display. And it uses emojis as we requested, as well as a generally casual tone, which I like. Mm, and that's it. So let's shortly recap what we did. We added a teammate that is our AI assistant. We created a workflow that assigns every new conversation to the AI assistant. We set up Quichat AI account, customized the AI assistant, and uploaded the knowledge base. And later we integrated QuickChat with Intercom in one click in the QuickChat interface. Then we put the Intercom widget on the website. You can skip that part if you already have it. And we tested it and it answered beautifully. In this video, I've shown only the very basic capabilities of QuickChat. And if you're interested in learning more about features like automated human hands-off or custom translations, AI creativity level, well, just go to that video.